Some of the strongest men on the planet. Look at his hand, look at that arm. He's becoming an armister. Is he good enough to beat Lars? And last time, we expected Lars to do a proper press. That's what he usually does, what's to a signature move. Look how much center control is from Chubataro. He's pressing in, Lars feels that power, and I believe Lars will make an adjustment and maybe go for a top roll at the start. Okay, come to the center so he can grip you. Look at the center. A lot of fighting. Don't, Look don't, how don't close he is. Wrestling yet. Just get your grip. All this fighting, I think, a little bit will favor Lars because he's very used to. But okay. if you, you keep your hand pumped by wrist. not allowing wrist. your opponent to take a wrist. better grip. Wrist. Lars looks very, very relaxed. Very, wrist. very relaxed. Mark. Round wrist. number one. Shoulder. Shoulder. Ready to go, ready to go. A little bit wrist, of wrist for Lars. When I get the thumbs up over there. Shoulder, shoulder. Mm. But that is very, very close. I believe he will hit Go! Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. wow. That's a pin for Mulheri. Mm. Just run through Lars. Just run through Lars. That was the unknown factor. We didn't know, we don't know. If you How are strong. out of gym, where Denis Siplenko, yeah. David Dadakian, also <laughs> Alexei Voyevoda time to time are training, then you kind of expect to see such a power. Yeah. Yeah. He said he's doing 285 kilos close grip bench bench press, and it's, it's not like he, he was doing look it Look at him. Just look at him, people. He's doing he it looks like a gorilla. Right now when he were preparing. I, I believe... If he continues, and he said he loves this sport because he believes there's so many things to learn here. He he wants to get better. He wants to grow. He he wants to learn. Maybe we have another crazy built super heavyweight. Yeah, but fight is not over yet. No, at no, all. no. And, and you know that Lars is so experienced. Lars is doing arm wrestling from 1998. So it's uh, more than 25 years experience and he has been multiple times in a podium in a WAF World Championships in the European Championships yeah it's always more than or, or almost 20 years ago rest let's get ready rest look well so strong he just he just bullies uh, the center okay. what Lars really needs to do shoulder is make him work rest. a little bit make him a little bit tired fight him just a little bit uh -huh. just okay. a little rest. absolutely you know that yeah. Don't move. Okay. Will you know go? that this guy but, can, Lars, can climb right in a now, mountain for five hours? Will yeah. he go inside? Yes. Goes for a press. Uh, yeah. Straps. Okay. Wrist. Mm -hmm. He's going for a top okay. roll. Look at, when I say wrist, straight. Okay. Okay. Grip. I'm surprised wrist. that guy with 55 centimeter biceps is able Don't to get move. so close to hand. Yeah. 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 Such a tight angle. Wow. Yeah, Lar Lars told us he has something similar to a king's move, and he's right there. La Valera transitions to a press. Lars almost completely straight. 2-0. Wow. Wow. And it Very was also impressive. technically and tactically. Technically and tactically. Great pulling. I know where Valera's strength is, but we see a good transition, good arm wrestling, definitely. However, this match will continue to grow because I believe it will just get tougher for both of these guys from this point on. Look, Lars almost completely straight. He has a king's move. He yep. has something similar to a king's move. Yeah. But if you are longer in such position with, with, without a hand, without a wrist, question De Devin, how, how Devin good is your wrist will hold in a round three, round four. Devon is very big Lars fan. He, he very good friends for a very long time. Just again, in he has some really important match today, but he finds the time to come here and maybe give some advice to one of his buddies. Or they have okay, from the hand, no from the back pressure, from the side pressure, even the pronator. So all he needs, I think, is a little bit of time. And I think he might crack the code, but Valera is doing amazing pulling. I'm really, really impressed by him. Center. Yeah, Lars, no this time 100% going to go for press. 110% is going to go for press. Don't move. Go! Go, 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 go. Oh. 
Да, нет. Сука. Пресс returns and it returns from King of Table round three. That's why we were talking that uh, Lars is one of best flop free specialists in the world. Very impressive, very impressive. We're in a match, 2-1, 2-1, Valera is still ahead, but Lars just uh, So even 55 centimeter biceps are opening and not able to hold that stress. What's the adjustment Valera needs to make now? More side pressure engagement from the start? That was what was he was doing in the first two rounds, exactly, but also Lars changed. That, that, that's how it looks. It's so insanely big. People don't realize because Lars is also an extremely large man. But the hand difference oh, is crazy. And also hand size of, hand of size. Valera is huge. Yeah. The yeah. thickness Straight of hand up. is very yeah. impressive. It's All he needs to do so is just to, to understand it. what he's doing. A little better, a little better, a little better. We go for, yeah, straps, straps. Quite strong, Bill. I, I just, just look at the size of Bill Collins' mm -hmm. hand compared no to these monsters. Ready? Go! A little bit better, but oh, fully out, fully out. Lars is holding. The referee will stop that because of dangerous yeah, position dangerous or strike position. down position. Yeah, elbow foul. Elbow I foul. think but the elbow it, went off. But the also, pad. I would say it, it was it was like as straight as probably Valera yes. can can do. Getting ready. <laughs> Round number I, I four. Let, let me get your fingers. I'll stand yeah. up. We are lying still. And. Don't move. We Go! are off. A little bit of late start from both of them. Wow. Yeah! Uh, rise high and took Lars out of his position. 3 1. This way. I'm so impressed by it. Not it only, not it only he's showing technical knowledge, power, but also great endurance for a guy of his size. Great pulling from Valera. Yeah, but he, al he also Look. did what we said what we what we said before. He took away the pronator. And uh, yes. And he didn't pull back as much as he rose up. And also Lars forward yes. Lars elbow was forward of pad and it actually was a elbow foul for Lars. See Devin Lara back in Lars' corner. He's like, dude, I just told you what to do on round three. He's like, do I need to remind you? So, 3 1. Oh, he's strong. Eventually, we'll get tired. Uh, but, Valera well, is looking very focused. He's in the match. Oh, yeah! 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 I think it's a pin. No? What's the decision That's from strap. referee? That's strap. a strap. That's a strap. Round number five. Oh. You, you pull your shoulders in. Don't move. Go! Lars is dumping the wrist completely. Puts the shoulder behind. Puts his shoulder behind. Puts his shoulder behind. Uh, Lars's shoulder went over the center line. So there's a rule in arm wrestling. You can't put your shoulder over the center line. That just means you you pretty much climbed up on the table too far. Getting ready. Yeah. Let's go. Shoulder. Don't move. Go! Lars is completely dumping his wrist. Much better with the shoulder. Much better protection. And I believe Gets that Lars on the is back pressure. And I believe that Lars could finish this fight. Oh, he could finish it. He could bleed. He's out. waiting. He's bleeding. Lars Rolbaken takes it back. Three, two. Valera is still ahead. Lars two rounds. The Valera's three. He has to calm down. He has to do what he did in round number four. That's what he needs to do. But how much of that back pressure is gone by now? Yeah, that's and it a good also pin. Seems that good pin. It's very important for both of them to win this center position because no one of them have been able to get back from defensive position. Yeah. Generally, if great in arm wrestling, but if you have found something what is working, keep doing. Exactly. Keep doing. You can see. Oh, Lars hits to the side again. Needs to be careful with the shoulder. Gets the grip. 
and we will have a you can see risk. you should risk and in, in risk. exactly and if i would be in such a situation or i would be in whether it's corner i would i would say take a risk take a risk yeah. and uh, Either this goes back or because, this like I said before, if round number six, will we go to a silver risk. bullet mm -hmm. or will this risk. be over? Risk. Well, there's very close. Oh. Lars go! Stop, 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 stop. jumps stop, stop, stop. in. You're blocking my arm. I got it. I got it. What is it? Okay. Um, is there a call from referee? No, that's the There's no call. There's no call. I think both of them start a little bit too early. Shoulders. They still have power. Shoulders. They still have power. Both of them want to win. Lars Don't versus move. Valeri. Go! Lars just gets to the side. So close. Gets the pin. 3-3. Three, three. We are going in the silver bullet match. To take the fight till this round number seven. Then this endurance place plays a big role. Definitely, especially in this kind of super match. Valera won one, two, first two rounds. Then Lars get on the scoreboard with winning one. Then again Valera. Then again Lars. So right now we go to the fable, to the mystical, to the magical round number seven. See, I'm 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 impressed and I'm a fan. Very humble guy as well, like Lars. Lars is super yeah. humble. But uh, whatever was like, I just want to learn and it will be good experience. Round number seven, Lars gets in position very close. Yes, good. round number seven, we go to straps. We see just intensity on Valera. Round go! number seven goes in a good press position. Lars Rohrbacken takes it back. 4 3 wins the silver bullet He's round. He's coming back from wow. 1 3 and wins in a. Final round. Great victory, great fight from both athletes. How bad did you want to top roll him? <laughs> Very bad, but uh, his arms is one thing, but I noticed his hands. <laughs> it was extremely hard to get a good grip, so my new stuff didn't work, so I had to go back to the old loss. Old school. Old school. Old school. I think round number three, Devon Lard came to your corner. Then round number five, he came back. And I think he said, like, dude, do the same thing again. Don't do the other thing. Yeah, he basically said, don't lose this. <laughs> what was your experience in King of the Table? Процентов 70 максимум. Но сегодня понравилось, что не, хотя бы не, не забился так быстро mm -hmm. с первого раунда, хоть и держался. He said absolutely amazing experience. It's not the same as arm wrestling in a gym with your buddies. Uh, you have to turn on 100%. And he was happy. He didn't get that tired.